Wayne Powell is the Vice President with Toyota North America R&D, working on all kinds of electronic stuff in the company. Please give us a quick overview of what that is. Sure. Uh, in, the, in our in Michigan office, uh, we're responsible for the, body elect the upper body electronics for the vehicles we develop here in North America, uh, primarily the vehicle control side, the wiring systems, and the cockpit area. Uh, but in addition to that, we also support the global effort on autonomous driving vehicles, driver assist systems deployed here in North America. And I know uh, here at the MBS conference you'll be talking about the deployment of that. Give us a little uh, bit of insight as to what your speech is going to be and <laughs> okay. what Toyota's plans are. Sure, sure. Um, the basic speech today is about Toyota's process of how we decide what's important and then our evolution uh, from, from today forward. We start with our Toyota Safety Sense system, which we've currently fully deployed into the market already. And then we move to the level 2.0, then we go to the highway teammate, and then the guardian and chauffeur systems. I'm gonna talk about how Toyota uh, prioritizes those things and how we deploy them. I love Toyota's terminology instead of level one, two, three, five. I mean, mm -hmm. you talked about that. What I really like is how you talk about chauffeur and guardian. Sure. Chauffeur being where you can go in the back seat, take right. a nap. Guardian is where the car will not let you get in an accident. Exactly, exactly. That's the, that's the, the uncrashable car, the, the uncrashable vehicle is the, is the goal for guardian. The idea, very simple, uh, don't hit anything, don't get hit, stay on the road. Very basic concepts to do that's that's the, the goal of guardian the driver is very much a key element of that the car works in concert with that driver to make the car essentially invincible you talked about tss toyota safety system right. so there's an alexis version right. too where you put a whole safety suite of technologies together but what about getting to this this guardian when might we see <laughs> something like that yeah well yeah you mentioned lexus safety sense toyota safety they're essentially the same systems in, in virtually all of our vehicles uh the guardian systems uh the, the next big step will be tss 2.0 next year which will enhance our TSS current performance in low light conditions as well as improved detection for objects. Um, we'll also see Highway Teammate launching, which is more of, a, of a, an assist system for freeway driving, uh, entrance and exits of freeways. And then Guardian is after that. We haven't announced a, a, an official deployment date of it, but I would say it's out in the early 20s. We're seeing some moves towards something of autonomy. Mm -hmm. Toyota's autopilot system, right. Cadillac Super Cruise system. Right. When is Toyota going to have something like that? Well, uh, uh, TSS 2.0 will have an enhanced version of lane centering in it. That'll be launching next year. We have some vehicles, some Lexus vehicles that have that now, but you'll see that going broadly across the whole fleet. So basically staying in the lane, and then the automatic uh, ACC systems are maintaining the longitudinal control. So those two perform the kind of the core elements of basic uh, 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 driver assist systems with the driver once again fully in the loop. Okay, so hands on the wheel. Hands on the wheel. What about uh, having a driver monitoring system where the driver can take his or her, hand, her hands off the wheel? Well, those are certainly being looked at. Um, a big part of this technology, but there's also customer acceptance, right? So do you trust it? And the idea of taking the hands off the wheel generates a lot of challenges where the customer uh, is not paying attention, is losing focus, is not situationally aware, and the systems really aren't strong enough to be able to, to, to cover. That's the level three yeah. uh, world. That's a really tough environment, that handover. So Toyota's approach is actively keeping the driver involved all the time and assisting them. Now, they're not necessarily have to be tense. The systems will allow you to relax a bit, but still stay situationally aware and the car takes care of it. How do you do that? Because that's one of the big challenges. As you say, mm -hmm. you know, the handoff is, is yeah. one thing, but we know that the data shows as you introduce more and more technology that mm -hmm. uh, is safer for the driver, right. they don't pay as much attention. It's, it's, it, is, it is the essence of the problem. Like I say, the technology is, uh, is maybe the lesser of the battle. It's the human interface which is the hard problem. And a lot of that is acceptance, right? Uh, customers, uh, for all those customers who are over relax, there's probably a lot of customers who simply don't trust it. So we have to span the whole gamut of that. So our goal is to have systems where you, you trust it, you're confident in it, but it's not to the point where you can't uh, stay engaged. So that's really the goal. How to do it, it will be an evolution. You will see our systems evolve and improve over time in that area. Real good. I'll be watching that evolution. Great. Well, Wayne, thanks so much for your time today. Thank you. Very Appreciate interesting it. update on what Toyota is doing. Happy to talk. Thank you. Market-leading chemical company Henkel and engineering specialist RLE International launched the Mobility Alliance 
a strategic partnership to boost the car development process in sustainability by addressing customer engineering needs from the earliest design and simulation phases. Hybrid structural reinforcements for lightweight designs and increased safety. Digital process integration from car development to series launch for higher efficiency. Forward-looking mobility concepts, materials and technologies for real innovation.